Hello, and welcome to Crafting at Home with OC Public Libraries. Today, I will be showing you how to make your own string art. So the supplies you will need are a wooden board that is at least a half an inch thick, various colors of embroidery floss, a hammer, panel board nails that are one inch long, needle nose pliers, scissors, a shape of your choice printed out, and painter's tape. So let's get started. For step number one, you will be positioning your shape on your wooden board and taping it down with your painter's tape. You don't need too much painter's tape, just a little to secure it to the board. So what I'm showing is you'll be rolling it up and placing it behind your image. So once that's done, step number two, you're going to take your nails and hammer at every point. My heart shape only has four points. And make sure that when you're hammering it in, you're allowing at least three-fourths of an inch to be above the wood. So your shape might have more points. For instance, if you have a square, you'll have four points. Or some other shape, a star, will have five. And then make sure that you're checking to make sure that all of your nails are level with each other. For step number three, I am lining the inside shape with nails that are about one fourth of an inch apart. This can be a very time-consuming part of your project. Next, I am lining the outside of the shape as well. And for those hard to reach areas, use your needle nose pliers to assist. All right, now step number four, remove your shape and your pliers may help in this. And don't worry about ripping it it's gonna rip, you're not gonna be able to take it out all in one piece. Okay, so step number five is optional. You can add more nails to your board for extra detail. Here I'm showing that I'm only going to be putting them in the corners for something that I'll show you later on. So step number six, tie your first color to a nail. So you'll be using an overhand knot that you'll loop around a nail. And make sure you pull tight. So this is your first knot. You're gonna do that one more time to make sure it's really secure. The nails were time consuming, but looping string around nails can be very hard, so have patience. And then just snip your ends. Right, now number seven, you're gonna start looping your string around each nail. So the way you loop your string around the nails determines the overall look. And here I'm just going back and forth. And the good thing about string art is you don't have to use every nail either. You can skip some, which will give you a different look. And then step number eight, if you run out of string, make sure you tie an overhand knot before moving on to your next bit of string. Depending on how many layers of string you add will give you 
a totally different look. It will make it more opaque and more colorful. Okay, so as you can see, you can be as uniform or crazy as you want. So step number nine, make sure you're changing colors to create a contrast. Because my shape has an outer heart, I decided to use orange. And then again, depending on how you loop, each um, thread around the nail will give you a different look. Then make sure you're pushing down the string on your nails to make room for more thread. And this is where those extra details come into play. I chose an aqua colored string to create even more contrast. So have fun with this. Step number 10, add a border in a different color. I'm using a little bit darker orange for the inside heart. I decided to use an even darker orange for the outside lining. And continue customizing until you have your desired look. Last but not least, pat yourself on the back for all the time spent on making your one-of-a-kind work of art. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.